Hey guys, I need to be blatantly simple with you guys and just straightforward and honest. I feel like I haven't been very transparent lately. And the question is like, can you start wholesaling as a complete beginner in 2019? And the, the simple truth of that one is, Hey, what is going on everyone? Devin Knup here, back at you with a brand new video. And today we're gonna to be talking about, can you start wholesaling houses in 2019 as a complete beginner? And then on top of that, kind of what like the strategy of going into 2019 is gonna look like. Cause uh, things are starting to change a little bit and the, the strategy of wholesaling, it always kind of changes depending on how the market is doing. So first things first, we're gonna answer that first question for you guys and is wholesaling in 2019 possible as a complete beginner? And yes, you can, you definitely can. It's definitely, I don't think that answer is gonna change for a long time unless they really kind of change like the laws of real, like doing wholesaling inside of states. I don't know, we don't know how the future is gonna hold, but as of right now, there shouldn't be any problem whatsoever and nor do I think there ever will be. So. With this, like honestly, as of right now, doing a deal in 2019 is looking like it's gonna be the same as doing a deal in 2018, which is basically just find a motivated seller and f flip it off to a cash buyer, which that's obviously the basis of wholesaling, but the the strategy of finding the motivated sellers is kind of constantly changing as far as like which list to target and like what type of appointments you go on, what type of margins are you usually working on? Are you doing more volume or are you doing more like larger deals? It's, it's kind of um, depicted upon like what's going on inside the market. And so like as of right now, really just targeting people that would normally be motivated, like tax delinquency, all that type of stuff. The real changes that we're gonna start being able to see, uh, which is like as the market starts to drop off eventually, I don't know if it's gonna happen in 2019 uh, or if it's gonna happen in 2020 or whenever it'll happen. I know it'll happen eventually, but uh, whenever the market starts to drop off just a little bit, the strategy is gonna be more towards like working with more foreclosures as there's gonna be less people buying these foreclosed properties. So there's gonna be like more of these uh, kind of bank owned or kind of short sale deals going on. And so I wouldn't necessarily call that wholesaling, but uh, it kind of goes up that alley as well, like what short selling is. So uh, with this, honestly, just keep doing whatever you're trying to do and if you're trying to go out there and get results as a complete beginner in 2019 really what you got to do is just duplicate the process that processes that are already out there i know i talk about this a lot in a lot of my videos as of like finding somebody that you can just completely replicate and just duplicate what they're doing and kind of try not to mix mix all these different like sources and everything so that way you can get the best results and that always is really gonna stand true with any business whatsoever, whether it be like something about like drop shipping or wholesaling or SMMA or really any business out there. If you're trying to create a business that's gonna be successful from the beginning, then really what you're gonna to wanna to do is just figure out who's already kinda of getting results. And that's also kinda of known as like funnel hacking. And I know this is kinda of like a, a term used by Russell Brunson a lot, but Basically what funnel hacking is, is just finding what your competition's doing, duplicating what they're doing, obviously not copy everything word for word, but really replicate what they're doing and implement it inside of your own business because if they're getting results, then you can get results as well from like whatever they're doing. So with that, honestly, just, just try to figure out somebody that's getting results and figure out exactly how they're doing it. Maybe give them a phone call, find somebody inside of your area, inside of your market that is doing some sort of marketing and give them a call, like try to get inside of their database, pretend, pretend like you have a house for sale and figure out kind of like what their follow-up process is and pretend like you have a house all the way up until the point that they need to go on the apartment and just be like, oh, we can't do that or something like that. And you can literally just copy whatever style that they use on you to figure out the best route to go. Now, obviously a lot of people may hate me for saying this and putting this out there, some of these bigger brands of people that have like channels or whatever it may be or different companies, but honestly, this is a pretty surefire way of figuring out the process of needing to do it. Now, obviously you're gonna be missing a couple of the pieces like the buyer side of things, but you can learn like exactly what someone's seller script is 
and on top of that you can kind of figure out how they follow up with you you can pretend like you're different leads and stuff and like I said yeah this may piss some people off if they find out that what you're doing but honestly like you can just pretend like you're a lead and just go through their funnel and with this like this basically just funnel hacking figuring out exactly how they go about the process of moving a lead from the initial phone call from the the lead source and then turning them into doing a deal with them so uh, i mean you guys can feel free to go out there and test this out and if you do let me know how it goes down in the comments down below this is actually something that i've tried a couple times with different companies i like to call different like bandit signs that i see driving around and figure out kind of like how their process works whenever uh, whenever you, someone calls one of these so that way I can see how responsive they are and see what like my competition really looks like and so this is also a good way to just learn the process if you actually have no idea which way to go and then just take action off of it and just replicate what they're doing if you see something that's consistently popping up some sort of marketing tactic like the really the only one that you can consistently see is bandit signs if you see a lot of those and it's like the same company that you can tell was putting them up obviously they work and just keep replicating what they're doing now obviously if you keep seeing like different random bandit signs just because you're in like a busy city that one i might consider a little bit differently maybe that marketing strategy may be a little oversaturated who knows really the only way to figure out whether or not something works is by testing it out and going out there and figuring out the answer yourself and a lot of you guys keep asking me questions uh for me to give you guys an answer and a lot of times like I actually don't know the answer and I tell you guys to just go out there try it out yourself and let me know what the answer is because you like I may know the answer but if you go out there and figure it out yourself I may get like some sort of different answer from you guys uh, and really the best way to find it out is going out there and failing or just taking massive action and really that's where like the the beauty of this business is is just if you just keep going out there and you keep failing, you make like every mistake in the book, you can still make a lot of money in this business. It doesn't matter how many failures you make, you can still close the deal. And that's what that's what's really cool about it. So if you're ever like afraid of failure or whatnot, just try to try to push your limits. See how much you can fail. Just try to go out there and take massive action, get out of your comfort zone, and go get some results. So if you're a beginner trying to get into real estate wholesaling in 2019, I fully recommend that you just go out there and try to make it happen, try to make it work out, and I believe in you. So, anyways, that's all I got for today's video. If you haven't already and you enjoyed today's video, join the fam, join the game by hitting the subscribe button down below. On top of that, if you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you smash the like button. That's kind of my way of knowing. And like always, I'm uploading every day, so I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.